Today I want to show off my Heavy Bowgun Spread Shot set. Changing things up this time, I'm doing an arena quest and I figured I'd put the gameplay at the beginning because it is relatively short and I didn't have to chase the monster around so it won't require as much editing and cutting things of that nature. So as you can see, it's pretty straightforward. I didn't take any attack power buffs or defense buffs or anything of that nature. I got attack up medium from eating and that's it. So as you can see, the set does have agitator. It's actually two points in it and it makes a huge difference. That is an extra three attack or three damage on every hit of each spread. I'm using the Rock Steady Mantle and the Affinity Booster. The set can easily be played without either. It's just what I felt like doing. As a matter of fact, I find I actually play worse when I'm using the Rock Steady Mantle because I just kind of decide, oh, I can take this hit. taking advantage of the fact that my cat put it to sleep. We have Wyvern fire ammo for these occasions. And that is about it. My cat's using the flash fly cage and decides he's gonna trap it. So I decide it's time to capture him. And that's Rathian. So, first thing I want to show real quick is the item set that I'm carrying. Obviously, my item pouch is pretty limited. I didn't bother to put too much in there because I didn't know what I was doing at the time. I am carrying gunpowder level 3 and spread ammo 1. That's just to make more spread 3. Normal 3? I have no good reason for that to be in here. It's just there. I guess you could use it if you couldn't reach the monster with spread three and you want to keep the damage up, but I don't ever actually do that. Obviously, this is the only thing I'm really using, which I need to make more of now that I'm looking at it. Dragon ammo is just there for dealing with elders. It's really not gonna make a huge difference because Typically, you're only going to want to hit a weak spot with a spread shot. Paralysis 2. This has a terrible load time and a considerable amount of recoil. It's not really worth it to use alone, but if you have a decent group, it's cool. Or if your cat is equipped with a paralysis weapon, just to speed things up. Sleep 2. Same thing. Except for you can actually capitalize it because we have the wyvern ammo and you can carry bombs. So, on to the equipment and decorations. I am using the Nergigante Final Heavy Bow Gun with three close range up mods. That's the ammo it can use. All we really care about is Spread 3, which has Recoil 2 and Normal Reload Speed. If you want to include some of the other things you can, it does have access to sticky ammo, but the recoil's bad and the reload is worse. So, the only decorations that are absolutely required to make this set solid are one attack jewel, which is given to you, and one tenderizer. My goal was to make this set as accessible to everyone as possible. Although I know some people are struggling to get a tenderizer gem. Sorry. <laughs> um, we're using the Lavasioth Greaves, which is giving you spread and power shot. You could easily, if you get the gem, swap that out so you can finish off your weakness exploit. But it's all a matter of what decorations you're getting. I personally would like to fill these three slots with Agitator, but I can't get that. So, 
in this situation, you could use crit boosts or peak performance or even evade extender. Evade extender works really well with the heavy bow gun, but not so much when you're using spread because I find it puts you too far away or too close to the monster and now you're in trouble. But you have one level three, two level two slots to work with. If you didn't notice earlier, what I did was two maximum might and a crit boost. Again, it'll work fine without them. That's what I put in. So that's about it for this set. I have a couple other heavy bow gun things I want to show off, but as always, leave a comment. Let me know if you like this or what you want to see more of or anything of the sort. And thanks for watching.